Hey guys, and welcome to episode 9 of my From the Island series, where we flip from the items from the Tutorial Island and see what we can do in the Grand Exchange. If you did not see the last episode, we have finally made it to pay to play. We have bought our bond, and there will also be a link at the top of this video for you to go and see that if you've not seen it already. So what we're going to do, we're going to activate that bond, hop over to a pay to play world and get started. So just to show you, we bought that bond for 4.8 mil and we were left with roughly 950k cash. Now in this video, I'm just going to outline and show you all the flips that we put in to buy and also how I look for items and just the whole process of buying items just to find margins and show you at the end of the episode what 8 items we go for to start all this off. Now the first item we did try was the Highwayman Mask. There will be a theme which is similar to the first sort of set of episodes and we are going to go for clue scroll items. So due to them being quite limited in their supply as well as their trade limits, we will be doing clue scroll items just to see what we can do in terms of margins and profit. And then once we've got a bigger cash, we can go into the more common items and also do some high volume flipping. So second item will be a black beret. And along with the black beret, we will go for the black cane. Now I've had quite a lot of previous success with black items just because they can only generally come from clue scrolls. And with that, it means it's very limited supply coming into the game, so prices can be manipulated quite easily. So Black Cane, uh, we can go for that, and that has also got a decent margin as well. So that's three items we've got in now. Um, that is taking up more than half the cash we did have though, and we still got 5G slots to use. So here, again, keeping on with the theme of trying black items, uh, we do try some of the smaller priced ones, because you can still get a big margin there and they'll have a bigger buy limit as well. So we'll have to do some smaller priced items for the remaining slots just to get the most out of the slots we've got along with the cash we've got left. So we're just gonna pretty much search through all sorts of low volume or high volume items which are a bit different. Purple Sweets did have quite a high buy price now. Um, so I was hoping either there'd be a lot of demand for them or we could have a decent margin on them, but coming in out with the margin between the two, it was only about 60 GP, and I didn't really have enough cash to make that worthwhile. Maybe later down the road when we've got a couple more mil, it could be worth it, but for now, it wasn't worth it. So, to find my items, I basically had the wiki up with a list of all the clue score rewards, and what I did is I went through and tried to cherry pick the ones I thought would be best to flip, here I was trying to look for the spade which is actually the reward for doing so many clues, I think it was for the medium clue, so that was a bit of a fail. Um, Bob shirts as well, uh, I did try these to see what the flip margin was on them, but with what a cash I had left and the margin weren't quite as good as I needed it to be. So one of the small items which I was trying to get into flipping was this Menify Purple Top. Um, and the reason I was trying to do this was A, with 150 buy limit, it's actually quite good. Uh, there's a lot of items you can flip with it. It had a 500 GP margin, so for this flip, we're looking about 70k profit. Not only that, the purple Menophyte is also needed for a master clue step. And sometimes, because it's not a common item to be in people's banks, they'll put a big offer in on the GE, and sometimes I can get lucky by selling one at a high price. Or if not, with the GP it was and the flip margin it had with the limit you could buy it for, it was worth doing just for that anyway. So another item I looked at for quite a low price was the sleeping cap. It doesn't really have any use but um, you do see it in PvP when Pures try to sort of look as if to carry more than what they are. And it made a couple of K anyway, so with what we had left it was decent, we were doubling our money pretty much. So we put an offer in for that. And we'll look at uh, what else we can pick up as well as I work through this list of clue scroll items. So we put the offer in for the sleeping caps and over the next couple of minutes there'll be sped up clips of basically the rest of my process finding the items. I think it was always worthwhile going for a number of items just so you've got a big range to choose from. Sometimes you can find a flip which looks okay and you go for that and it could always be something better to find as well. As well as that, I just wanted to have a look at basically the different prices of items. There's a lot of clue scroll items in the game and a lot of them really aren't worth a lot. So I wanted just to see what was what. Uh, what I did notice is the Cape uh, items, like the Cape Schools, the Cape Zero, are actually quite high uh, in price, which I didn't think they were. 
So they could be something we pick up later on when we're really in sort of like the 30, 40 more GP marks. So what I was doing now is just going through different low end items because now we've only really got 240K for free sort of slots and just seeing what can pull out a decent margin. So basically we'll just keep going through, looking at all the items and see what we can do. And you'll just see all I do is buy it for the max, sell it for the least and whatever the difference is, is what I can make off it. So just gonna put some music over the rest of these clips and we'll come back to you when we're finished. So put the offer in for the black darts, I really don't have much hope for it because of how low volume they can be, but we'll see what goes with that. Now here is where you see we make a massive margin on the black cav, we pretty much triple our money. So we're going to put in as much as I think I'm able to on these, see what can buy and then also see what we can sell as well. And then just find one more cheap item just to pick up for the last GE slot. So hopefully those black casks can sell quick, the quicker they sell, the quicker we've got a bit more money to play around with. But for now, I am looking to be quite happy with what we've done. Here you can just see all the items we've tried and what we've done to get here, but we're not doing bad so far. So it took a little while to find, but we've managed to find an item which is pretty low uh, investment wise. And we're going to go for the powder wig which like the sleeping cap is basically an item which has a emote to link to it. So when you wear it, you're able to do a different kind of emote. No real use, but we managed to get uh, a bit of a margin on it to where it can be a couple of K um, and we can pick up about two or three while we're doing it. So as you see there, it's pretty much 6K flip. So whatever we put into it, hopefully we'll, we'll make out of it. So we'll put a couple in for that and then that will pretty much be it. So that's the first episode down. We've gone for eight items there, um, which I do think we'll do, do, do okay. Obviously we'll know in the next episode how well we do and we'll see how this all goes in pay to play. So I'm already liking the idea of eight slots. I think we can do a lot with it. I think we can show that there's more items to flip, ways to sort of make bigger margins. And not only that, although we are starting again with clue scroll items, we will be moving into other stuff. I think just with what money I have come into pay to play with, it's the best item to do for now. Um, and retrospect, I'm very glad we made that extra 900k because I think flipping with just one GP, although a lot easier in pay to play than free to play, it would have just took a basically we've just done the whole previous eight episodes again, just maybe a bit quicker. So we're going to go with 900k, see how these flips go for the next episode, and we'll come back and now I'll let you know how it all goes. So if you've enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and if you do feel like you want to view more, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.